Hello, welcome to Coding with Indy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do canvas animations on top of Flutter widgets. For this, I'm going to start from scratch and walk you through the whole process. No need to have any third-party libraries. And it's quick, easy, and fun. God, when was the last time you had all three together? Here we are in the temp folder, and we can create a Flutter project by typing Flutter create. The new version of Dart and Flutter introduced null safety feature. This is to make our programs more robust. The Flutter create doesn't automatically create null safe projects, which boggles my mind. So you have to manually type the command to convert the project. And once you've done that, we are set to go. Now we open VS Code and type flutter run on the console to run it. Let's examine the code that was generated for us and delete most of it. In the build method, we're going to put the groundwork to set up our widgets. We want to have some widget like a list view in the page. And since we want to have our canvas animation on top of that, we will use stack as the container to hold our layers. So here I've wrapped the stack with a container widget so we can size it and set color, etc. Now let's quickly build a list view. I'm stealing the sample from Flutter Docs here. It's nothing fancy, just a few items in a list view and some text and colors. I'm using separated builder for the list view because it shows the items as cards with the gap in between. In the item build property, we set a function that returns the build item. Here we use a simple container with a fixed height, color and a text widget. Marvelous. So it looks like this. Beautiful looking list view that you can interact with. So now we're going to create our animation widget. So here I'll add it after list view in the stack. I made a mistake in this video uh, and I placed the anim widget outside the stack, but I will fix that soon. So we're going to create a custom paint widget, which allows us to draw to canvas. We call it anim widget. And it's a stateful widget. It's a good idea to set the child of the custom paint to a container as shown here. So it will pass in the dimensions to our canvas properly. So we're going to create the myAnim class, which is derived from custom painter. 
set the shutter repaint to true and let's draw something on the canvas to see if we wired things up correctly. So here we encounter an error because of my previous blunder. Quickly fix that and running again gives us a red blob in the center of the screen and top of the list view. Now doing this creates a different problem. We no longer can interact with the list view. So let's go and fix that. Solution for this is to wrap our animation widget with a widget called Igno Pointer. And after that, all is right and good in the world of list views. We can interact with it. Now we get to the part where we animate something. All animations need a ticker, so I will create one with a timer. So I'm creating a periodic timer with a tick of 60 FPS. Inside the timer callback is where the magic of update happens. Since we want to repaint the widgets when our animation updates, we do all the updates inside a set state. Now, for animations, we will use a class called Particle. It will have several properties like position, velocity, color, and radius, for example. But in order for things to be a little more interesting, we will set each particle with random properties. So let's quickly create a function that gives us random number in a given range.
Now with our anim widget state class, we want to create a list of these particles. Here I'm using a generator to initialize the particle list. And we update the particle position inside the timer callback we coded before. So far, so good. But we should pass in the list of particles to the canvas so it can draw them. In the paint method, we iterate and draw circle for each particle. So if we run the app now, it should draw some particles. Hmm, there seems to be some foop. <laughs> Let's have a look. I think I know what happened. I made a mistake here in the update. The velocity should be added to the position. All right, now we are talking. This looks good. And also we can interact with the list view. So now that you know how to do this, I'm going to ask you not to do it. The reason is the user experience. Even though these animations are fancy, they quickly become distracting and annoying. Best time to use something like this is when the user performs some action, like completing a task. And you want to show some appreciation by throwing confetti all over the screen. <laughs> so use it wisely and sparingly. And that's it for this video. If you like what I create, please take a moment to like, share the video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'm happy to answer questions you may have, so comment below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.